Okay, so basically, talking to a device compared to talking to this person, talking to a device is always more difficult. It does not get easier. There are some professionals that are good in talking to video, actors. But it also takes a long time for them to present things to the camera. Okay, so now you got your first video. And how much did I give you time? Five minutes to make one minute presentation. That was 25 minutes ago. Okay, so it's basically for doing one minute video, it takes, if you make it really good video, it takes at least one hour to do it. How long it takes to make a good presentation, one minute presentation, just a live audience. You don't need to prepare. You just start talking. You already experienced that one. You just introduce yourself and then start talking to somebody else. So for some reason, talking to a camera is difficult. However, there are some other tools. So basically you can, as I said, you can use Skype and talk to a, a audience and what somebody's face here. It helps on presenting the things or talk to you some live or uh, live audience and have somebody else taking the video. That also works. Then actually the uh, few years back I had really a pleasure to be a um, kind of big boss for this um what are those called? That's basically the um field of arts and culture in Metropolia. And uh, they also had this uh the the uh, uh, what is that? Movie technology there. And what how what it's actually what, what they're doing a lot when they're starting to design any schemes or short presentations, they will draw a storyboard. Cartoon. Okay, that's about designing a video presentation or designing anything video. So storyboards. Oh, whiteboard. Okay. <laughs> Storyboard. Same as cartoon. You like cartoons, right? That's common for Finns and Japanese. We all like, you know, in Finland we like Akwank, Donald Duck. <laughs> uh, in Japan you, you probably have some other, you know, cartoons. It's manga. Right. So storyboard will help you basically visualize uh, you how to design a presentation. I'm not sure if I'm good on drawing, but anyways, the idea. You have these schemes and so on. And you design the content of the video by basically putting some characters there. That's me yelling. <laughs> okay, next skin could be a graph or chart like that. And maybe you again there with a smiley face. So this would be just shouting what is a problem that is, okay, m more evidence, danger solution. Martian. <laughs> or a, a robot doing the, uh, some things there. And so on. Drawing a storyboard will then help you on talking to you, uh, talk, talking about your topic. You don't need to go into visual 
kind of thinking, I noticed some of you actually started looking at the, or to the left, left side of your brain, trying to visualize the, uh, uh, this video before talking to your camera. Yes, that's one way of designing, do it in your head. But if you have a storyboard, pen and paper storyboard, that helps you going through the stuff. Then it, you can concentrate more on the presentation itself. Okay, so basically, let's start the next hands-on exercise. Um, you see, now we're still on the same groups. Start drawing your storyboard, what is important in your uh, point of view about the topic of your project. So what is the most important part of the, uh, this project? And design a storyboard so that you have about, say, uh, five or six schemes. Each, each of these scenes is actually about one minute long. So having five or six here would be about five minutes uh, of the presentation. And there you need pen and paper, or actually we also have these nice whiteboards so for, well, not enough of them. Well, pen and paper. Pen and paper would work the best. Or computer, if you have a, some sketching tool. So the tablet is actually nice, since there is a sketching tool. Computer is not really good for sketching. Uh, yeah, mobile phone is okay for sketching. Get a, an application that you can draw there by hand. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can also use these whiteboards and that one. We have actually a couple of more. Don't mess up this one. This is mine. <laughs> but we have a couple of more uh, whiteboards here you can use. And, uh, yeah, uh, start sketching and then also talk to each other. Show those storyboards to your uh, new team members and see, they can actually give comments and uh, also some good questions so that you can improve your storyboard presentation or the storyboard of the presentation to get the most important. So, okay, first you think what is important to you and then you have these team members there which can actually either uh, agree with you or disagree with you. So ba basically maybe uh, you should concentrate on something else than what we, what you're supposed to uh, do first spot. So basically, uh, this is kind of uh, fine-tuning the storyboard so that the message will get through. Okay. So you have time until uh, 12 o'clock working on the storyboards. Any questions? Uh, well, what each member should do your own storyboard. Yeah, yes, since you have a different topics, different project topics. But you, you use basically this uh, team uh, so that you get the most important parts presented on your storyboard. Okay. Top, uh, the project topic. Yes, yes. So how, yes, yes. So, so topic is basically how would you, uh, how would you present uh, or, or do the first presentation, introductory presentation of your own project, how you would do it. Okay.
Yes.